May 20th, 2019. Here's what's happening. Analysis of imagery from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter found that the moon shriveled like a raisin as its interior cooled, leaving behind thousands of cliffs called thrust faults on the moon's surface. A new analysis suggests that the moon is still shrinking today and actively producing moonquakes along these thrust faults. Because of the ongoing fracturing, the moon's belt line has shrunk by approximately 150 feet. According to the new revelations, the moon's contractions continue today, causing ongoing surface fracturing. These active fractures, or thrust faults, are responsible for moonquakes. According to researchers from the Center for Earth and Planetary Studies, located in Washington, some of the moonquakes can be fairly strong, as much as five or more on the Richter scale. A visualization from NASA Goddard imagery shows photos from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter taken near the site of the Apollo 17 moon landing. The photographs reveal a low-angle thrust fault where the land west of the fault is thrust up over the eastern side as the lunar crust contracted. In a May 2019 paper published in Nature Geoscience, evidence is provided which indicates that this fault and others like it are still active and producing moonquakes today. The faults created by lunar shrinking take the form of star-like cliffs. When scientists mapped the origins of the moonquakes recorded by the Apollo seismometers, they found eight of the 28 shallow quakes were within 18 miles of a visible lunar fault. The new analysis showed six of the eight quakes occurred when the moon was at its furthest point from the Earth, its apogee, where tidal forces put additional stress on lunar faults. It's likely that the eight quakes were produced by the slippage of faults as a result of a buildup of stress from the compression of the lunar crust caused by global contraction and tidal forces. Therefore, the seismometers are indicating that the moon is tectonically active and is continuing to shrink. Establishing a new network of seismometers on the lunar surface is becoming a priority for the U.S. in their quest to further explore the moon's surface as well as its interior. Understanding the geology of the moon will be of prime importance in our quest to visit nearby planets in the next few decades and with a planned landing to occur on the lunar surface in the year 2024. Meanwhile on Earth, a series of mysterious booms and flashes of light have people on edge, with speculation mounting. Residents of Western Haiti were awoken in the early morning hours of May the 12th by a huge roar and booming sound emanating from the sky, which sowed anxiety and panic among the population. Local geologists ruled out any seismic or volcanic event, leaving open the possibility of a meteor explosion. So far, local authorities have been unable to pinpoint the exact cause of the immense noise from the sky. The following evening, May 13th, residents of Sydney, Nebraska were startled by a very strong explosive sound that caused them to exit their homes to investigate. 
Once again, local officials were unable or unwilling to determine the cause or the origin of the loud noise. Among the unexplained sounds coming from our sky is one that is eerily reminiscent of trumpets, such as this bizarre sound over Texas in early May. There are signs in the heavens that speak of great changes that will come upon the earth. The sun, moon, and stars are the harbingers of change. They hold the keys to our future. Look around you. Things are not what they used to be. We have taken for granted the necessities of life in this world, and we have laid to waste the very essence of our survival. Right now, one of the biggest dilemmas facing all humanity is centered around extreme weather and the effect it is having on essential food supplies. It's not just happening in the farm belt of the U.S., it's happening on a global scale. So that you may understand just how dire things are looking these days, here are some examples of what's happening right now around the world. The drought in Australia is extreme. It is the worst it has been in over 116 years. As a result, their wheat production is the lowest it has been in over a decade, a loss of over 20%. Because of the loss, Australia, which is the biggest wheat exporter in the Southern Hemisphere, has had no choice but to import 60,000 tons of wheat from Canada. The reason that this has garnered worldwide attention is that losses of this magnitude are unique. They are not known to happen. In Italy, floods and hail have destroyed 70% of the Basilicata fruit crops, an alarming percentage considering that agriculture is the cornerstone of the Italian economy. The news out of France is even worse. Persistent cold weather is continuing to hamper any corn planting efforts in the country. This region is the third largest corn exporter in the world, meaning that a poor harvest will have a profound impact on global markets. The severe drought in the Mexican state of Yucatan is devastating. More than 3,000 producers have been unable to save their crops due to the lack of irrigation infrastructure. If the drought lasts longer, a large part of the state's harvest will be lost and they will have to bring food from other parts of the country to supply the demand of the population of Yucatan. In North Korea, the lowest rainfall in over 100 years has left millions at risk of starvation. The country received just over two inches of rain or snow since January 1st of this year, which is the lowest amount of moisture since the year 1917. Water is running out in the country's lakes and reservoirs, and this is causing a significant effect on the cultivation of wheat, barley, corn, potatoes, and beans. Here in the United States, spring has yet to arrive in some states. In parts of the plains, in places like South Dakota, Nebraska, and even into Oklahoma, a late spring like this year's is not a common occurrence. Many farming fields are ruined from massive spring floods and will not be planted this year. Planting has been dramatically affected. In Argentina, relentless flooding has severely damaged some 1.5 million acres of crops, 
hampering the production of soy, corn, and alfalfa. In some areas, crops were inundated under 16 inches of water, forcing farmers to abandon the fields. These are but a few of the many situations around the globe where food demand is far outweighing the production of food crops. If the trend continues, then food shortages will escalate worldwide. And from the looks of it, it is already happening, and prices are set to rise this summer. So get yourself ready, folks. The time to stockpile food supplies is upon us. Over the years, uh, Skywatch Media News has become a popular destination for tens of thousands of viewers on YouTube, and the aim is to keep the viewers informed and up to date on what's happening around the world, because you deserve to know. If you like the content provided here, please take the time to share it and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the icon located at the bottom right corner of each video or by clicking the subscription button located at the very end of the video presentation. Remember to ring the bell in order to receive notifications of our video downloads when they occur. Thanks for watching.